Tonight, President Biden says the fight isn't over after the Supreme Court tossed out his student loan forgiveness plan. The court ruling six to three against his plan to forgive up to $20,000 in student loans. However, the president says he's working to find other ways to deliver student debt relief. And with that Supreme Court ruling, many people will have to go back to paying their student loans for the first time in years. The Better Business Bureau of Central Ohio says they expect student loan scams to pick up. Tintipi's Tara Jabor spoke to the company about what those scams look like and what you should do if you get scammed. Tara. Guys, the BBB says right now is the perfect time for scammers to target those who are still paying off their student loans. That's because some people may be confused about picking up their payment plan or trying to delay it a little longer. Uh, we totally expect to see an increase in the scams. An increase in scams could be on the way for those who are paying off student loans. In that case, the student or even the parent might receive an unsolicited email or even phone call or text saying that they qualify for lower payments through a debt relief program. The scammers could offer you a few different methods to pay off your debt. Being able to reduce your, your loan debt or to get you a better interest rate or to get you shorter, you know, length of your loan. Dollison says there are a few red flags that will let you know right away that it could be a scam. You know, the tone is very urgent. They say they have to take advantage of it right away or the program will expire. Um, a big red flag is that they're going to say that they have an upfront processing fee. Dollison says they will also ask for things like your personal information or your federal student loan ID information. She recommends everyone to revisit the terms of their loan before making any decisions about helping pay for it. Um, the Department of Education does work with many different companies. They, they will work with lenders, for example, to help support the student loans. So it's important to know what those uh, other agencies provide. And just how common are these scams? The Federal Trade Commission says recently they sent payments totaling more than $3.3 million to people who were scammed. The total number of scammers, 37,800. If you are scammed, first report it to the FTC, then do this. If they have actually fallen victim to a scam, then we not only want to report that on the scam tracker to help notify others, but we can also help you through the process of finding the right connections. And the BBB says they are always willing to help those who do get scammed. You can contact them at 614-486-6336. Reporting live in the studio, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.